Hello and welcome. My name is Taylor Magnus from Sockeye Consulting, and today we'll be talking about system automated intercompany transactions. One of the strong points of Sage Intact, being able to manage the books and transact against multiple entities all within the same instance. As we look at our entity pull down here, we'll see that we're currently at the top level, but we also have our individual entities listed below. What I mean from an accounting perspective when I talk about this top level is from this level, we can transact across entities, which includes coding bills and journal entries that cross entities. With older systems, many times when transactions cross entities or one entity pays the bill for another, users will have to manually go in and create the necessary intercompany entries to ensure things balance and that intercompany payables and receivables are tracked. Not only does this open you up to error if entries are missed, it also becomes quite cumbersome when the number of entities being managed grows large. This is commonplace with companies such as real estate developers. Sage Intact has solved this problem with their automated intercompany transaction functionality. Let's jump in and see what this looks like by using an AP bill as an example. Let's open up a bill I previously created at the top level. As we look at the entry lines here, you'll notice we have this coded to two separate entities within the locations column. We have one line going to our GC entity and another line going to our ventures entity. Now, when we post this transaction, the individual expense and related AP amounts related to each entity post to the entity subledgers. But where our intercompany amounts come into play is when that entire bill is paid out from an account belonging to one entity. So the way this is handled is, Intact will automatically create and post the balancing entries for the amounts related to, in this example, our ventures entity, and keep our intercompany amounts in line. And we can see this when we come into the posted payments related to this bill. If I come into the posting details of this payment, we'll see our debits removing our liability from both the construction and ventures entities. And our credits of cash coming out of the construction entity cash account. Alone, these entries would cause our debits and credits to be out of balance at the entity level. But as we come down to the intercompany section, we see the system has properly created a debit to our due from account on the construction entity, representing a receivable for that cash paid on behalf of the ventures entity, and a due to booked to the ventures entity for the matching liability. As I've already highlighted, this is quite the time saver in regards to making those entries, but it also ensures accuracy and ease when we're talking about reporting and closing out periods. Without this feature, it only takes missing or miscoding a couple of these transactions to cause big headaches when closing out and consolidating. With Intact, we make that issue a thing of the past. Not only that, Given we're running all of our entities within one instance, we can also use things like our bill back feature to clear out those intercompany receivables and payables with accuracy and ease. Thank you for watching. And as always, if you have any questions regarding this functionality or anything having to do with Intact, please don't hesitate to reach out to our team here at Sakai.